This mouse right here, I believe, is a mouse that everyone needs to own. And here, I'll explain why. Yo, what is up guys, Aaron here. And this mouse right here is probably the most underrated and slept on mouse that you guys need to check out. And it's the IntelliMouse from Microsoft. And I remember as a kid about 18 years ago when Counter-Strike 1.5 and 1.6 was really popular, I'd ask my mom to take me to these LAN centers and there's two things I always brought with me. And it was my headset and this mouse right here. What I have here is a legendary mouse that millions of gamers used to use back in the day. And for good reason too. The design, the comfort, and the performance was pretty innovating at that time and inspired many of the gaming mouses that you see today. However, this isn't the same mouse from 15, 20 years ago. It's actually the new and improved version from Microsoft and it's called the Microsoft IntelliMouse Pro. And growing up such a huge fan of this mouse, I picked this up and I've been using it for a while now. So I kind of want to give you guys my thoughts and some of the details of why you need to get this mouse and why every gamer needs to keep this in their arsenal. So first, let's start with design. The iconic ergonomic design that inspired many of the gaming mouses you see today, like the Zowie EC series, and even one of my favorites, the SteelSeries Rival 300, which you can see I was definitely in love with. And as for the build quality, I think that is where this baby shines. It's extremely well put together and everything is aligned perfectly. Nothing feels cheap in the mouse, it just feels super solid and very well built. Honestly, this is the definition of a quality mouse and I think other companies should take notes. And as for the buttons, it's very satisfying to use. And it's been so long that I don't remember what the old ones feel like, but I'd assume that it's a big improvement. To me, it has the right amount of tension and feels very responsive without any unnecessary travel. And the scroll wheel, I think is even better. It just feels super accurate and it has the right amount of resistance. It kind of feels like you can count the number of scrolls in your head because everything just feels so precise. So here I attached a couple clips of all the buttons and the scroll wheel so you kind of get an idea of what the mouse sounds like. And as for the bottom of the mouse, it has four soles on each corner and it's a pretty smooth glide. Not too rough, but not that slippery either. I feel like you get a great sense of control when using this mouse. I believe my MX518 Legendary, which I'll review in another video, it's another one of my favorites, has a tad bit smoother glide, but not by much. And as for the weight and size of this mouse, it's about 104 grams. And with all the new honeycomb and super lightweight mouses coming out these days, it's a bit on the heavier side, but I prefer a little weight in my mouses in general. It always threw off my muscle memory and I just couldn't be precise with them. The overall size of the mouse I'd say is in the medium to large range. It's 132 millimeters in length, which is 5.2 inches. It's about 69 millimeters in width, which is 2.7 inches. And the total height of the mouse is 43 millimeters, which is about 1.69 inches. Now everyone has different grip styles and of course hand sizes. So whatever may feel comfortable to me might not feel comfortable to you. But I think it's safe to say that a lot of you will enjoy this mouse. Now I play a lot of FPS games with very low sense. So I kind of have this hybrid claw palm grip style. And I'd always prefer my mouses to be a bit larger rather than it being too small. And I'll explain why. So like I said, I have this hybrid style, so I guess I get a little palmy, if that's a word. So for me personally, having more size on the mouse just gives me more support on the bottom of my palm and wrist area, which I believe is crucial for any FPS gamer that just wants to smooth swipe or flick. And I noticed with smaller mouses, the bottom of my palm wrist area tends to touch the mouse pad, which can cause friction and really throw off your aim. So just a little tip for you guys. The mouse comes with an upgraded braided USB cable instead of the old rubber ones but I still think it's just average at best. It's not super flexible, but not that stiff either. It could be better, but I haven't noticed any issues with it, even without a bungee cord. And as for the sensor, this is probably the biggest change that Microsoft made when it comes to the IntelliMouse Pro. It comes with the 3389 sensor by Pixar. One of the best, if not the best sensor in the market right now. And it's a fantastic sensor for gaming and even everyday use. It's accurate, responsive, the tracking and acceleration is great. 
all the things you expect from a high-end sensor. And like I said, I've been using this mouse for a while now and I tested both in high DPI and low DPI and there was no skipping, no jitters, everything just felt smooth. And speaking of DPI, you can adjust the DPI from 200 to 16,000 DPI with the polling rate of 1000 Hz. Unfortunately, there is no DPI button, but I like how Microsoft just stayed true to the original and kept it out. However, you can still adjust the DPI and other things as well through the Microsoft software. And the software is called the Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center. You can pretty much do all the basic customizations like remap buttons, link settings to certain apps, and also play around with the RGB settings. However, there is no special lighting effects, just a clean static color of your liking, which I think matches the minimal look perfectly. And finally, the price. So currently, as of making this video, you can find it on Amazon for about $51 to $55, depending on what color you choose. And like I said, there's two color options. You got the dark shadow, the one I have here, or you have the lighter version. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave the link down below. So guys, 50 bucks, I think is an outstanding price. And the main reason why I think is because the build quality. And this is something that a lot of companies lack. I mean, right when you grip the mouse, you can tell right away that it's so well put together and that they didn't cheap out on any of the materials. Plus with the high-end sensor under the hood, it's almost perfect. And honestly, there's not that many negative things that I can say about this mouse. Maybe just the lack of buttons and an average cable, but other than that, it's a really good mouse. In the end, if you need a gaming mouse, or if you have room for another mouse, I think this is the mouse that everyone needs to use or at least keep in the stash. And why it's so slept on, I don't know, but it's truly a hidden gem. So if you guys enjoyed this content, feel free to sub down below, drop a like, comments, concerns, questions, all that good stuff. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.